one more story to share that I love, a lesson from one classroom all about celebrating good over evil. This is what I'm liking. Dan Gill is a middle school teacher in Montclair, New Jersey. He's taught for 52 years, and one of his most important lessons doesn't come from a textbook. It's from this empty chair he keeps in his classroom. What does it mean? Well, let's bring in Mr. Gill, watching on NBC4 New York, to explain it. Hello! Hi, Mr. Gill! Hi, Kelly. Thank you for having me on the show. Absolutely. I am honored to have you on the show, man. I'm so excited to share this story with everybody. Uh, first of all, thank you for being a teacher. You are angels walking on this planet. But also, please tell everybody about the chair in your room. Yeah, so the, it, it all starts with a birthday party that I was invited to, um, along with one of my friends who is named Archie, and he was an African-American. And um, when we arrived at the party, the woman who's the mother of the student um, looked at us very carefully when after she opened the door, and she said that I could go in, but that Archie couldn't. And like I was stunned because I, I said, uh, why, why can't we go in? And she said, well, we have no more chairs. And I said, well, I've been to your house a lot, and um, I was nine years old at the time, and this is in New York City. And I said, you, you, you have plenty of chairs, and even if you don't, I'll sit on the floor. And she said, no, you don't understand. You can come in, Archie can't, because there are no more chairs. At that moment, like, I understood, you know, what the code words meant, and um, I felt so bad. And to see my, one of my good friends humiliated, and, um, you know, with the, this was an apartment house. We went down the elevator, seven floors down, and big... Big tears were welling up in our eyes, and we went back to my house where, obviously, we have enough chairs. Oh, man. That is, I love that. Do you, do you explain to your students why that chair is there in your classroom? Do you tell them that story? Because it's so yeah. important. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the difficult things is, that a teacher has is how do you connect, especially when you teach history, how do you connect the students in your class? to the history that you teach. Mm. And, um, and I think personal stories do that for them. And, and what it really represents for them, and I keep on emphasizing it, is the, the, the opportunity you have uh, to come to a free public school, to get a good education, and to have empathy for those people who, who need to be advocated for, and to, um, to, to have a charitable spirit towards all who come in this room uh, with anticipation, seeking that opportunity. Yeah. And, um, and that. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, thank you so much just for first of all existing. What a great heart you have and what a great teacher you are to all of us. Um, we're now in your classroom learning. That was so cool, Mr. Gill. Thank you, I'm liking your post right now. And that's not all. Our season-long partner, Pilot Pen, makers of G2, the go-to pen of the Kelly Clarkson Show, want to celebrate teachers like you whose impact on students is immeasurable. So they're going to give you $1,000 just for being you. That's great. <laughs> My students will love it. Uh, thank you so much, <laughs> Mr. Gill. And thank you to all our guests this hour, Carrie Washington, Charlie Theron, Sophia Ann Caruso, Sophia Wiley, Paul Feig, Selman Chinani and Guy Branham. Y'all have a great day, and if it's not, try and change it.